What up, everyone? Welcome back. Disc and Deals coverage. You're watching the back nine of the first round of the Augusta Open. I'm Lucas Deal here with the one-time world champ, Chris Smith, a.k.a. Smitty. One-time deal commentary. Smitty, we back at it. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. I'm ready to watch this back nine of this tournament. This is where the teeth of the course really show themselves. Yeah, that front nine is easy in comparison to this back nine. And big shout out to tournament directors Tyson Jones, Kenny Endercofer. They're the reason Disc and Deals was recording. Farm Path Tour, thank you all so much. Again, this Knockwood course is absolutely stunning. If you've not played it, you need to get out there and play it. Shout out to Knockwood themselves, who was able to give me drone footage of the property to use in the video. So thank you for that. And we have... A There's why she's called log jam. Yeah. That's exactly where you want to be is right where those logs are. Like I said, you got to just get a tad bit more height to get over those logs. You know, I understand why they're going this, this flex flick from the tee pad. It looks like it's the way to play it, but oh, that's, that's repeatedly what happens. Like I say, just an, an understable disc on a hyzer and just try to skip it just at the log jam. And it, it can get to the basket. I've, I've seen multiple get back there. I'll tell you who's good at this hole. Ronnie Unruh. This is a Ronnie Unruh special. He uh, he toot it in Wample. See? It's just, it's just a tough, tough, tough shot. But problem is the, the hole isn't super duper long, so you can get up and down pretty easy. And he is waiting for someone on hole 12 that just pitched out. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, easy three. Yep. Ron looking. Looking for which tree he wants to bounce it off of this time. <laughs> Turn, that's beautiful. That, it was pretty. So Nolan's got a little bit of work, but he's really good at that just flick of the wrist up shot. Honestly, that it's, thing. yeah, it's so pretty. And oh, Caleb's going roller, isn't he? Yeah. Cut roller. Come on, baby. Dude, that's good touch. Yeah, it was good. He got a little bit in there. Yeah, he's got some work. But, but man, what a great shot, right? If you, if you watch the front nine, you know he's been in these trees the entire day. He's had this same putt multiple times. There we go. Yeah. What a putt, man. Yeah, that, that putt on nine felt good and i bet he's hopefully he's rolling, he's rolling now so these yeah. guys are all going to clean up for an easy eat get out of here three do we have any birdies on this hole uh 
one bird, two birdies. Alexis Shapiro and Derek Queen both scored birdies on this. Impressive. I wonder what play they did. Hard telling. The lucky one. All right. All right. A disc and deals double take for Caleb on hole 10. This was a great putt, dude. Straddling out in the trees where he's been all day. Slightly left and just the veteran just snagged that one in. Hey, that didn't always happen. Not according to some people. <laughs> hole 11 comes in right in the middle, sticks and stones. Um, I feel like the best play on this hole is a flex flick to the right side of this cottonwood tree we're passing right now. This left side of this cottonwood tree is 100% poke and hope. Uh, once again, fairly short hole, only 257 feet. So, and, and most generally people who hit things get halfway down the fairway. So you're looking at 120, 130 foot upshot. It's, it's just the shortness of the hole. See, way inside drive, but I would almost bet my truck he's going to get up and down. <laughs> Yeah, it just didn't have that flex on it that you were talking about. Lauren's looking the same line here. Yeah, I needed to flex a little bit just more. a little early, but outside look. Yep, makeable. Looks like three for three on this flex route. I would guess we're going to go four for four. A little low. Good skip. Yeah, that was one tick from getting enough angle to get back home. And the good thing is if it skips right, it generally rolls right back down that hill to the pin. Yep, you called it. Four for four. It, it's really, truly the only shot. That's soft enough. That might come back. Oh, uh, just a little. Maybe not, but up and down. So see, Nolan's off the fairway, but look how easy that is. Yeah. And this one, they have some room to push that pin back a little bit if they ever want to. Oh, yeah, they could. Ooh. Yeah, he yeah, won nice. this. Yep, yeah. that was moving right. He's a little obstructed here. I wonder probably just outside the circle, 35 feet. maybe. Yeah. I just can't remember if he had a clean look or not. Uh, it's a little low. It sure doesn't look like there'd be much there. <laughs> so, I mean, Caleb overcooked it and he's got just about the same putt that Lauren had, but wide open. No fear in it either. There's just a backstop right behind it. That's been knocking down too. Uh, just that right side miss. All right, so we're going to, like you called, get a lot of tap-in pars here. And no changes on the scorecard. Oh, nice. All right, we're going to move into... Hole 12. Hole 12. This one gets a little bit longer, comes in at 420 feet, and it is another very demanding tee shot. Um, plays as a par four, so there's a little bit of, you know, room for uh, error. Comes in as the seventh easiest hole. I like anything flippy and miss this tree right here. You miss that guy, you can get your birdie. You hit that guy, you are, you're in trouble. Yeah, and there's a huge ridge on the right side that's why it's called ridge line that if you go down in there you're just pitching up the right okay. side is actually the fairway we just played yep so here's nolan a little higher than he wanted but in the fairway middle middle of the fairway is fine Lauren's really concerned about these tees. He really is. They it looks slip, slippery, but I'm guessing it's fine. 
And he's going something flippy here as well. Beat that's, the tree. That's perfect. Missed that one. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. That's gonna give him a little flick to the flick to the pin from there. And the way Caleb's lining this up looks like he's going to try to force it over. Oh, well, he went with the purple one. He was lining up with that orange one. I think this is just a straight putter. This is that Anheuser putter he threw on that one hole. A little early release, but oh, good. had enough turn. He should have no issues getting up and down from there. Ron Khan ditched the jacket finally. <laughs> Only has five more layers. <laughs> A little left. And then he got a kick left, too. Yeah. It's going to be tough. So Nolan still has to navigate this tree in the middle of the fairway. But like we said earlier, he's good at that little flick of the wrist up shot. That was sweet. Good shot. And Ron has a fairly clean look here. Not right up on the tree. Usually that's what happens is you get right up on a tree and you don't have a swing. Oh. Yep. And he's not going to have Just a putt. He's going to be snookered by those trees around the pin. And Caleb's still having to do a little bit of dancing around these trees. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. That, little kick, but yeah, little he's kick, a bit but, high. Yeah, that was coming straight through the pin. 15 feet, yeah. Okay, Lauren's a little bit more tucked than I thought. Yeah, if he gets past this tree right in front of him, though, that thing's going to hyzer right to the pin. Plenty of ground play on this old mountain bike trail. Well, that's great. Oh, a little hot. But did get caught up. But Doable. Man, that's that's going to be tough, of, though. Yeah, see, and this is, like I said, Ron's just going to have a prayer here, but... He's been known to make these. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he gave it a one clap. He he liked it out of his hand. Yeah, this is tough. Big straddle out. Well, nice putt. And it's official. That's a good putt. He's he, finally on the board. He's finally on the board after 11 straight birdie or straight pars. He's on the board. And still in the tournament. Yep. <laughs> and Ron snuck it in right side. Thank you, baby. <laughs> He's just shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, right. Caleb didn't skip out nearly as far as I thought he did. Nope, man. So three birds there. Nolan five down. Looking good. And we're going to move into hole 13, which is... Third easiest hole on the course. Must get. 231 feet downhill. Not nearly as green as it is today. 99.9% .9 of the people you see are going to throw an Anheuser or a Flick through this little bitty gap or this gap right here. You could drive a flying truck through it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, this is a briar patch is about as must get on this course as you can. Have you noticed all these little holes are all left to right? Yep. Hole four, hole five, hole six. And that was a little turned, a little hyzered. But still putting. But yeah, still right there. He's going to throw that one disc that just dies. It's perfect for this hole. There is a little drop off behind it that if you come in too hot can really cause some problems. Oh, that thing is mean. <laughs> little short, but 25 maybe. Yep. Okay, a little bit even here. I think he's ace running this. Oh, he put a move on it. Good up. Woof. See that little little drop off, and it's still going. Did it get to the creek? It is right on the oh edge, yeah, on a rock. But he's safe. Oh, what? And then I've never seen anyone do this in my life. What are you thinking? <laughs> Over the top. 
Did he get it? It's a perfect line. He's just a little left and then got the roll. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what the heck? That's that's how you make an easy hole hard. All right, Nolan. A little longer than I thought. He's outside of 30. Oh, Good bid. Pretty though. good bid. Yep. Pretty good bid. Good bid. And here is Lauren for the two. Coming off his first birdie. Can yep. he stack a couple together? Oh, that a baby. Yeah. He knew it too. Oh, he did a little side he step even. That was a good putt. Here's your over the top hyzer. Yep. There he is. And then there is Caleb way down Man. there. And look at this. Wow. Oh, he hit Cage from there. So right. Nolan with an easy cleanup from 15. Lauren instantly apologized. And Nolan's like, it's not your fault, dude. Wow. I don't know that that ever got above the yep, that's what, face mask. That's exactly what no one said. I got to get the disc up. It's not your fault. Ron cleans up. So Lauren, with the solo birdie on the third easiest hole, it's pretty surprising. <laughs> yep. That is, that is surprising. And hole 14. This is a fun one. I love this hole. We got a Mando here on the left. It's not posted. And a Mando here on the right that's not posted. You got to go up the gap. I like burning forced over forehand and try to hit these rocks here and skip up the hill on old Hang a Louie. I would guess this is longer than 300 feet. Yeah. I, 298, huh? Yeah, I, that's what it says. Um, I do think it does play longer. And you can see that they put the Mando arrows up since the drone footage. Yeah, those, that drone footage when this baby was really raw. Yeah. And so here's Lauren. After two birdies in a row, and that's way wide. This is coming in as the sixth easiest hole. And he got up on top. That's good. Up on top's good. Got to look. I just never thought it would get through on that right side. And Caleb. Smash. Yep. Oh, it's the tree. He's just down below, wide rocks. open room. Yep. Green light all the way. The old man, he'll get this out a little flat and turn in, I bet. Heiser and flipped it up to flat and yep, he's in he's the opening long putt. Skipped up the rocks too. So Nolan's going with the play I like, the force over forehand. Yeah, but that's nice. It's got good height. Looks pretty decent. Okay. Just off to the right a little. Yep. So here's Caleb. So a pretty fortunate kick. I mean, he's wide open here. Yeah, this is a this is a cool putt. And money. Oh, oh. Look at that clown behind him. It was, I mean, it was direct center. That's when if I if I show any emotion, it's because it's a it's a bad Spitzville. Yeah. So no one's seeing Spitzville. Nails it. That's a good putt. That was a good coming putt. back off a, a missed putt. Mm -hmm. That's a, a That's great what he's saying right there. You can't make them from 15. You can make them from 45. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> so Ron just what 25 feet, just barely in the in the rough. Yep. It's a good putt. So Lauren must be really close. Yeah, Lauren is pace of play more so. He's just he's pin high. Which is impressive. Probably about the same distance as Ron. Mm -hmm. Pretty similar. Flat putt. And after getting nobody. Wow, a turkey. Turkey. 
A turkey. That's great. And unfortunate for Caleb. Wow, that, that would have been an amazing star for him. Yeah. It should have been. That's that's brutal. All right, and your favorite hole ever, hole fifteen. Yeah, uh, it's a, uh, it's something, man. It's got. I think they said they took a hundred and some trees out of this originally, but they could probably take a hundred and some more out and still have a good hole. No, it's. I mean, there's a little fairway to the right and a little fairway to the left. It's just, I don't know where you're supposed to throw the disc. Nature's revenge. So, uh, you know, and honestly, is it the worst thing to have one scramble the entire length of the hole, hole on a course? I don't think so. It is the third hardest. At only 360 oh, feet. Oh, no. There's why it's the third hardest. First available. And there's going to be nothing over there. Ron's going to what, try the Annie? Nope. Roller? Yep. Either gonna work or it's gonna take a big old whack. Snake bit. Yeah. And he's this, quite a ways down there, though. Yeah, this was one of those holes that there was a big backup on. They thought about 17 different shots before they even got a chance. And oh. Nolan hits this perfect and gets the worst kick. That was the best line I've ever seen. Almost. Almost, exactly. And I think that's kind of what you're talking about, though, too. Yeah. Is it does feel a little bit poke and hopey. I mean, it is a par four. four, four yeah, and I think the designation of four does make it better because it only plays .28, but, man... It makes it better to par, but still, I mean, we're all playing for strokes at the end of the day. And, you know, you may see a terrible shot, get a lucky break and a great shot like Nolan's get absolutely punished. And we're going left what? roller. <laughs> get out of here with this right now. Oh, uh, and honestly, he's just back out. So hey. can't, can't be too mad there. Let's see. This is Lauren's third. Just trying to get up and down here. A little low. Giving away, giving back several of those putts he just made. So yeah. this is Ron's roller where it ended up. Is he going thumber? He's going, yeah, up, no, he's up going high the flick, flick, right? Yeah. Just found a gap and chipped it out. And... Yeah, he's on the other side. Wow. So... <laughs> <laughs> and Nolan and is on the path. Like that's how far he went down. And yeah. Yep. They'll have an outside look I mean, if he, he was, wants it. He was way down the fairway and lucky enough to land on that path. Yeesh. This is that hole though. And so right here, this is birdie look for Ron. He wants it too. Oh, that was a, a great attempt. It was a good putt for the old guy. So Lauren is laying five. This putt no, for, this should this be putt for five. This is for one. Yeah, this is for a bogey. Oh, oh, that's a good bid. Give them all back. No, it's par four. You can give two of them back. Okay, so I've been watching this for three holes, and now it's official. Oh! What a putt. <laughs> I want you to watch next time Caleb putts. When he brings it up, Disc Mania, every single time it says Disc Mania straight across the putter, and it's always right side up. Okay, so you think he looks? He has to. Okay. I've noticed it three holes in a row. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll pay attention to that on the next hole. And okay. We'll ask Caleb next time we see him. If he does, he's a real weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do get to take another look. I think that was too good of a putt not to take another look okay, at so Oh, that was only a single bogey. Okay, good. Well, yeah, check out the stamp on his putter. Uh, we're looking at it from a different angle. 
But here's a disc and deals double take. What a putt, dude. Great putt. To save the par. And we're moving into hole 16, what I think is the prettiest hole on the course. Yeah, I don't get it. Par three, 255 feet, comes in as the fifth easiest hole. Most people I feel like are gonna play a little flick shot out here to the left and let it fall in. We had at this point, serious headwind on this hole. Yep. It was coming right at us. Um, I do think that the tall grass behind was OB it on was. this one. And to the right was OB yeah, in the so. tall grass. So mm -hmm. they did use the tall grass here as OB. I mean, it's not the ugliest hole I've seen. I just it, mean the backdrop. You're but up. it's not Walnut you're, Alley. Walnut Alley is a beautiful you're, hole. Uh, it's this the the step up onto this tee and then the look down at the water. I just think I love any time I can see water on a hole. If Walnut Alley had any type of water easily, it's it's my favorite. It's a good shot. Two yeah. good shots. Two good shots. Well within circle. And... Looking the same play out of Caleb. Well, it's another one of those shorter holes with the left to right shape to the fairway. Yep. Stick around. Oh, good, good back. Putt, or a good shot. Lauren's going to go back in? Nope. Got mean dog out. Yeah, <laughs> mean dog. Oh, blue, blue gateway. And dude, that looks nice. Come on, baby. One little release. Yeah. So he's the farthest one out and he's 20 feet. Yeah. And they're just going to go around a circle here. It sure does not look as windy as I remember it being. Oh, it was. It was, it was howling. Yeah. The flag's not even moving. The, the water's moving, though. Oh. Oh, nice. Thin. Oh. Little hop up there. All right, the let's see tongue. if we can see a stamp. Okay. I think you're going to not be. Yeah, I don't think from this angle. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see. He hasn't looked down, though. He just knows. Ooh! He just knows. <laughs> it's subconscious at this point. This is part of the routine. He just can just glance at it and know. There's two birdies. Hole two 16 birds. comes in as the, I think we already said, the fifth easiest hole. So no yeah. one's looking to get the third one. Mm, that was Ugh. unfortunate. It was left to the left to the pole, but it had plenty of, whoa, plenty of chains. Yeah. So a couple birds, a couple pars, and we're going to move into hole 17. Hole 17, 561 feet, par four, fourth easiest hole. A little bit of a water carry, and the, the OB line is actually, you got to clear the rocks, but you'd have to be a real idiot to not clear the rocks. <laughs> is that you? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Buried it right into the side of those suckers. So all you got to do is clear the top of this dam, and once again, dealer's choice. I like the sidearm because it finishes away from the, uh, from the trees. I'll bet we'll probably see Nolan flick. Well, Nolan will probably try to unleash one here and get to the pin. So, and look at the size of this flagpole, man. You can see that thing from the, uh, from the, from tee. the tee. Yeah. And this is, I think a big left to right. No, it's right to left. Right to left. Okay. Because it was headwind on the previous pole. That's, right. That's right. So Ron's throwing something fairly stable and turning it over and it's good enough. He'll yep. have a little hyzer into the, into the green right in the middle. And Caleb's looking for it, man. He's looking to go boom. Oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take much to, to clear the rocks. Like I said, you'd have to be a real <laughs> loser to not clear it, but you get to also choose if you're throwing that backhand, you get to choose how much you can, you want to bite off. That's a great shot from Caleb. Yep, perfect. 
Yeah, yep, he's he gonna smash it. this. Yep. Too high, I think. Unless it's really flippy. Yeah, I don't think that got the, the turn for him. Stayed out, though, so that's good. Yeah. As long as you don't get into hole 17, which I'm kind of shocked that's not marked OB over there. I think it should be. Because I've seen plenty of people go in there off the tee. No worries, just rip. That's, that's nice. nice. That's really nice. Great turn. Uh, if he didn't, if he just got a little bit past that hill, it would have gone a lot further. So he's probably got, what, 200 to the pin, maybe? Yeah, I'd say a little bit further. Doesn't like it, but Ooh. he likes that. Yeah, I think it was going to be pretty hot. Good stuff, though. Yeah, Ron's probably right around that 200 mark. That rock there is the perfect aiming point. Just yeah. try to hyzer right in front of that rock. Ron doesn't know that. He doesn't need that. He doesn't care. Flip up. Flip up Ron Con style. Now, Nolan's in a weird footing situation. Yeah, he's got a huge rock <laughs> on his feet, doesn't he? But he got a good kick there. Yep. That was a good shot, too. It was going to be close. Yeah, for sure. Man, Caleb did put a move on this Yeah. One. It's just nice and easy. Some type of stone disc. You know, all comes this. into the fourth easiest hole. 3.64 on a par four. So these guys are just all gonna clean up birdies, I'm assuming. Yep. No one going through the tree for it. style points. Yep. At this point, Ron screams, Whoa! No one putts so hard. Too hard, I think. Yeah, I think uh, Nolan had mentioned something that if he doesn't putt that hard, he doesn't commit. So it comes out either that hard or like a dead duck is what he mm. said. But hey, star, star bird. And we're moving on to hole 18. Tell me about this one. Hole 18. 355 feet, way downhill. The number one hardest hole because it's a par three. It's just a weird distance. You can see this yellow arrow from the tee pad. If you get to that yellow arrow, it's the easiest up and down in the world. The problem is you have a, is it a double mando up at the top? Double, yeah. With a tree right in the middle of it. It's, yep. a, it's a demanding, demanding uh, tee shot. This is another one I'd like to see him move this pin up above this little ridge and even maybe even play to the practice basket oh. because any of these guys that get to the bottom of the hill are going to get I think this is the easy play, up though. and down the flex forehand that's yeah that's the only play I feel that's perfect Ron come on just throw it out there and let gravity do the work it's a 355 forehand for Mr. Converse look how steep this hill is don't give that old guy that much credit <laughs> Yeah, that one Y tree right in the middle. That's nice, too, if it's yeah. clean a little early. A little early, but he gets right by that stump. And that corner has softened up tremendously since they put this puppy in. Made the Mando. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be a tough scramble from yeah, there. Yeah, that's I mean, a... He's probably conceding a four already. Yeah, that's a tough, tough area that he's in. Lauren thought about this one. Thought if there's anything else other than a flex forehand. Nope, there's not, Lauren. <laughs> you can throw it just a hyzer forehand, but that left side of that gap is so much smaller. Oh, come on, baby. Be clean. And that was good. It did get caught up before the opening. And this is Nolan. I'm somewhere on the path. Just What's trying to he gonna do? Just chip it out and then try to chip. Yeah, it there's in. not much he can do from here. Wow. Yeah, that's about as bad as the kick can get. And then he got another bad kick to the right. So he's at this point. I think he concedes. Yeah. 
He just pitches down. And there's our arrow. Yep. And I miss I miss some tap ins here, so you might see some scores flash in. So here's Ron, huh? Yep, he put it in the perfect spot. See how easy that is? Yep. And so he's he's parring. So Caleb really has the best opportunity here for the bird. But this is so uphill. Way up there. And that's still 50 feet out. Oh, oh, that's a good bid, though. So he's going to par. And then Lauren has a good opportunity, too. He's just got some stuff in his way. Oh, another band hit. For a par. He's going to par. Nolan. I do get Nolan's tap in for a double. Yeah, this baby, like we said, came in as the number one hardest hole with a single two on it the whole day. Who got it? Mr. Tate Galloway. That's awesome. Well, let's look at the scores here. Alexis Shaparo, Josiah Davenport, Jake Reimer, and Ron Khan. You're going to get to see them in round two. Lead card. Make sure you st come on back. Three-way, four-way tie at fourth. Three-way tie in eighth. And uh, again, huge shout out to tournament director Tyson Jones, Kenny Undercolfer, Farm Path, Disc Golf Tour, and Knockwood. Thank you for the John footage. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Put a lot of work in, would really love the support. Ring that bell for notifications. And hey, hope to see you on the next one. Round two coverage. Take care. Bye bye now.